Hey guys! So I'm back and I know it's been like months since I made a video and um, I'm back now. Hopefully I'll try to make more videos with like, I don't know, anything like my experiences, like helpful hints on how to study and just, just like anything really I hope. <laughs> um, so I was an MD1 when I made my first video, uh, my only video, and now I'm an MD2 and um, yeah, I thought MD1 was rough, but like, this is a whole nother level of rough, but okay. So in MD2, I'm taking biochemistry and genetics, um, research, physiology, neuroscience, and CCBS, which is like clinical relations to the basic sciences. And yeah, it's like a lot. So in MD1, we had to take one like NBME, which is like the like the final test that like kind of relates how you're gonna do like on the STEM and stuff, but like just with that subject. So for MD1, it was just anatomy. Now, of course, when I'm in MD2, they have one for histology, but that's besides the point. Um, so yeah, like it was really, it was like a lot studying for that after coming from like undergrad and then just transitioning to this and like this is an accelerated medical school so like you literally just have to study like all day every day which is pretty much what I do which is I mean that's not why I didn't make videos like it's not that long to make a video I just I don't know I just kept putting it off but I will make more videos um so so oh yeah so this semester there's three NVMEs Three, physiology, which is going to be a pain in the ass, um, neuroscience, and um, biochemistry and genetics, which is like together. So that's going to be rough, but like, I'm working through it. Oh yeah, so I'm in my third block of MD2, so there's MD1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and then in each MD you have four blocks, and at the end of the fourth block is when you take your NBME. And so pretty much all you're studying is pretty much leading up to that because that's what's gonna like determine how you're gonna do and stuff. So um, how I would study for the MBME is reading the slides and stuff, which you have to do for class if you wanna do well on, on your class exams. Um, reading the slides, reading the textbook, like recommended text, um, BRS, and like doing questions, like so many questions, which I don't really do that many, but like I've been starting to do a lot more because questions are the key. Because there's only so many ways like they can ask a question and like if you do a lot of questions, like you'll have like lots of ways to answer and like, and you have to read the explanation too, that's really important because explanation Will have answers to other questions that they're gonna ask, like that they could ask on the NBME, that they could ask on the USMLE. Like, just questions are the way to go. I'm um, sorry, <laughs> when I'm on a tangent, I don't really know what this video is gonna be about. I guess, like, how to get through MD1, maybe? Yeah, like, yeah, I guess. Okay, how to get through MD1? Questions is the way, and just like. You literally have to know like everything in the human body and like how it looks under a microscope and all that. And like, you're sad. Okay, that's really easier said than done. Just read the book. Um, what I did is, sorry, really loud car driving by. What I did was, I would read the slides. Um, we had really good slides for anatomy, so that wasn't too bad. Um, I would take like lots of notes. I would draw everything out like, like arterial supply and nervous supply like just parts of the body like just draw it out and like it'll stick inside of your brain and once you draw it out like you can look, look back to it and then like maybe on a whiteboard like keep practicing the pathways and stuff like that's what I used to do and like it really helps and um it really helps to just cement in your head and like when you do questions and stuff like you just think of the picture in your head um what else so yeah, like notes, questions, pictures, well, pictures, I mean notes and then pictures and then questions because you can do questions when you think of the pictures and then, yeah, um, just like keep reviewing and once like your first block is done, review 
at the end of the next block or like in the middle or whenever you have free time because that information is just going to escape out of your head even though it's really important and you really need to know it. And you're just going to need to know it for the rest of your life. That's that's what I that's what I used to think about all the time last semester. Like, I can't just know this information for the exam. Like, I need to know it. Like, I'm going to need to know all of this stuff that I'm learning for the rest of my life. Like, everything in the human... Okay, maybe not everything, like, in such fine detail, but what I'm learning is not just for the exam. It's not for whatever. It's for myself to know so I can be a good doctor. Like, isn't that whatever... Like... Everyone wants their doctor to be the best doctor and know everything that they can possibly know. And that's what I want to be. And yeah, I know it's it's really hard to get yourself motivated to like study all the time so you can learn everything that you need to know for the rest of your life. But you just have to think about like why you're doing it and why you want to be a doctor. Think about the people that you're going to help. Think about your family, who you love. Like, just think about that and be motivated. Like, I know that's what motivates me. Like, how proud my family is going to be of me. How awesome of a doctor I'm going to be. And just stuff like that because it's going to be hard and it's going to be a lot of studying and a lot of times you're going to want to get distracted or not study. But you just have to think. And it's only a few years of putting in all this work and studying 24-7. But soon enough... It'll pay off, hopefully. I mean, I know it's gonna be a lot of work after a few years too, but it won't be constant studying. Like it'll be like hands-on, like really getting in there. <laughs> Sorry, I keep like looking the to my peripherals. Like I just see lots of people walking. Um. So yeah, hopefully I'll make more videos. Not hopefully, I'm going to make more videos. Um. And yeah, stay tuned. Thanks for watching.